During the pandemic, Medicaid stopped requiring recipients to submit annual paperwork to show that they remained qualified. That recertification process started back up in April in Rhode Island, forcing thousands to look for health insurance elsewhere. The federal health insurance program Medicaid is offered to people across the country with low income along with people with disabilities and families. Rhode Island is doing uh, better uh, than most states. Um, what we're hearing nationally is that there are several states that are struggling with this process. In Rhode Island, about 22% of Medicaid recipients who have gone through the process have been kicked off since April. Nationally, of the 42 states that have reported data, 39% of people have been kicked off. Target 12 sat down with Medicaid Director Kristen Souza, who says the state has been working for months to make sure the process runs smoothly. I would hope that everyone is gaining coverage, and I would hope that those who are concerned about coverage reach out to us. Looking closer at the state data, 7,000 people were determined to be ineligible for Medicaid since April. 5,000 people were eligible for Health Source RI, the state's health insurance exchange. But of those, just 1,100 have enrolled so far. Are you fearful that there are people in the state who don't have health insurance coverage now that need it? You know, our overall goal in this is not just to do Medicaid redetermination. The goal is to keep our uninsured rate as low as possible. However, Sousa acknowledges that the state can't keep track of those who've been kicked off, leaving them either to turn to private insurance or remain uninsured. I think that they're losing Medicaid. That doesn't mean they're losing health insurance. So that hopefully means that they're gainfully employed or again, they've had a social change that allows them to access uh, something other than uh, Medicaid. The state has projected it will kick off 25,000 people over the course of a year. Sousa says that number is still on trend. The first three cohorts were small and they're going to grow um, substantially over the next few months. So that trend could could alter. But um, with what we have today, it looks like we're on on track. The state is still struggling with an average of 45 minutes wait times for service calls. Sousa says they're continuing to work to add more staff. With the Target 12 investigator, Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.